Hey guys, welcome to another Gaging Gadgets tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to take your TripMate Nano and then put it in access point mode. So what this means is, say you're in a hotel and they only have the little Ethernet port for you to connect your laptop up to, but you want to connect your own wireless network and maybe do a Chromecast or have a couple devices online, you just hook your Ethernet cable into the Hutu and then hook it into the hotel, and then you can create your own Wi-Fi network. So I'll show you how to do that right now. Okay, so before we hook anything up, there are two things I think we should do. First, let's download the user guide just to make sure you have it. So if you get lost, if you have any issues, you have a reference, you can look things up. Second, on your TripMate Nano, there'll be a switch on one side. We need to go ahead and change that to wired mode. So it's the one right, oh, right there. Switch it over to wired mode, and then you should be ready to go. So now all we need to do is attach the Ethernet cable into your Hutu TripMate Nano, and then the other side into whatever port you have in your hotel or just your router at home. Okay, so I have everything plugged in. Now what I need to do is find the wireless network that is being created by the Hutu Nano. And it should look something like this, TripMate Nano. So we'll go ahead and connect to that. Remember the default password is going to be eight ones. All right, we're connected. Now that we're connected, we need to go to the administration page for your TripMate Nano, which can be accessed by just typing in the IP address 10.10.10.254. There is no default password for this page, so go ahead and just log in. Now you can go through the wizard, but I've always had a little bit of some issues with that, so it never really works for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and close that out, and we'll just go to network. Go to internet first, change it to make sure it's on wired access, which it should be if you switch that switch. Then we'll go to Wi-Fi and LAN, and this is where we set up the network that the TripMate Nano will be creating. So I'm gonna go ahead and change the SSID, which is the name, as you can see right here, of the network, because this matches this. So I'm gonna go ahead and call it Gaging Gadgets, because that is the name of this YouTube channel. So please subscribe, thank you. You can go ahead and strengthen the password a little bit, just make it a little different so that no one can get on your network and steal your bandwidth or anything you have shared on there. And then the mode, you can update all this stuff, change the channel. I leave it on auto just because this could be in different areas with different Wi-Fi networks around here. And then just go ahead and hit save. So now that it's saved, what it's gonna do is kind of reboot the TripMate Nano. So you're gonna be disconnected from it. It most likely you'll be attached to either your home network or whatever Wi-Fi network you were on before. So just make sure you go back before you try to do anything, connect to the network that is being created by the Nano, which I named Gaging Gadgets. So I'll go ahead and just connect to that. Then you're gonna to have to enter your password that you configured. I'm just gonna hit no. All right, so now that we're connected, we'll go back to the 10.10.10.254 screen and just see if we're connected to it. We can go ahead and try to go to a website. We got the Amazon page for the net, the Nano pulled up and it seems to be loading fine. All right, so I pulled up Bing because I'm just gonna do a quick speed test just to see what kind of bandwidth we're getting. And as you can see, very good bandwidth. When you do the bridge where you're kind of having it create its own Wi-Fi network from another Wi-Fi network, you lose a lot of bandwidth. But when you're doing access point mode, bandwidth is pretty consistent with what you're getting just by being connected to that network. So pretty awesome. All right, so that's how you put your TripMate Nano into access point mode. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And I always try to answer all of the questions in my comments. So please do not hesitate to leave a question there. This is going to be part of a series I'll be doing on the TripMate Nano, so check out the other videos such as how to upgrade your firmware or put it in bridge mode. And also, please rate this video a thumbs up if it helped you. Please subscribe to my channel as well. Thank you so much for watching.